Hello, good to welcome you to Under Trade Secret, a wonderful moment where we share our experiences from God's Word. And I'm so excited to be your host today. It has been very, very great moment for me being part of this project. You know, since we started, just like a joke, and here we are, moving stronger, better, and transmitting God's Word in a very unique way. Very simple way anyone, anybody can understand and get a hold of God's Word. Okay. Well, I've been, I've been reflecting on so many things. You know, every experience, every day in our life, God uses things around us to teach us, to guide us, and also to direct us. God will never leave you alone. And I want to say this to you. God will never leave you alone. That is one of God's greatest promise. Never to leave you alone. So you are not alone. Don't ever feel alone. Don't. Because the moment you begin to feel alone or lonely, it means you are inviting fear into your space. Don't allow fear to take a hold of you because you are not alone. God is with you. You say, even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, say, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, even though I walk to. So, paraventure, I miss my way, paraventure, event of life turns around and they begin to torment me. He said, I shall fear no evil. You know why? Every situation in your life is temporal. Every situation in your life is temporal. God allows situations to come so that you can gain experience. God allows situations to come so that you can maximize your inner strength, your potential, your power, your ability to stay in and confront situation and win and overcome. You have the overcoming power inside of you. Every born again Christian, every child of God, born of God, have the overcoming power. For whatsoever is born of God, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatsoever is born of God, overcome it, the world, whatsoever. And this is, this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Whatsoever. It does not matter this your situation, the challenge is facing you, how you were born, when you were born, the moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you say, as many that receive him, he gave them the ability, the power of attorney, the authority to become the sons of God. So at the moment you get to this level of a son, you are now a bona fide member of the family, and then you can exercise the authority that we have in this kingdom. So it's not a joke, it's not a joke, it's a big deal. You see why we are not afraid? We have refused to be afraid and we cannot be subjected to any kind of fear. Why? We belong to a family that is well fortified. No space for fear. Even though we are confronted by challenges of life, even though we are surrounded by the truths of the enemy, there is no space for fear because the result is, the result is we are fighting the fight of faith and we already know the outcome, what the outcome will be. We understand the end from the beginning. That's how, who our father is. He knows the end from the beginning and he works in both sides of the miracle. When I'm being challenged, when I'm being confronted by a situation that seems bigger, unsurmountable. God is looking at me. God wants me to exercise the powers that I have. God wants me to apply the knowledge I have received. God wants me to walk in wisdom of his word because that's the essence of his word. God keeps feeding us with this word so we can apply it. He keeps feeding us with his words so we can apply it when we are in need. That's why you send your kids to school. That's why you actually went to school to get knowledge so you can apply it when it is needed. So you go, you go, you go after God's word so you can get strength, inner strength. So can you have, can you can 
uh, extract knowledge to use in times of need. In times of need. So you keep him in perfect peace whose mind stays on you. He will keep you in perfect peace as far as your mind. The book of Isaiah 26, I, I suppose. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind stays, you see, your mind stays on him. You are not shifted. You are not moved. You are not moved. You know the book of Jeremiah, um, James says something. He said, an unstable mind cannot receive any good thing of the Lord. An unstable mind. So one of the problems where we are not receiving answers to our prayers, to our requests, to what we demand or, or, or confess, is because some of us are struggling with instability in our mind. Instability in our mind. God wants you to be strong. Be strong in the Lord. And the power of his mind. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind. Hi. Oh my God. You know, he said, I can do all things through Christ. That's Paul. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Strength. You need that inner strength to move to the next level, to face life. To, tomorrow is Monday. You need that inner strength. You need that inner courage. You need it. You need it always. Always, all the time. You need that inner strength to face life. Listen, life is full of challenges. Circumstances that look so big, sometimes they want to be bigger than you. But please, but please, but please, God has settled this matter since. He has given you the power. As men that receive him, he gave them the power of authority. He gave them power. He gave them authority to become the sons of God. He gave them power. If not for anything, brag about who you are. <laughs> brag about where you are coming from. Say you of God, little children. You are of God. You are of God. You are of America. You are of Bas family. You are of Basajor's family. I'm just using a common things that we see around to give you to give you an understanding. Of the depth of that scripture. You are of God, little children. You are of God, little children. You are of God. You are of God. Does it make sense to you? You are of God. Of God. You proceeded from God. So you have everything God has. You have everything God has. You can use whatever that Jesus has. You are of God. It's just like when you live in the house of a big man. You don't need to beg the man to go and take water to drink. You don't need to beg the man to use the toilet. You don't need to beg the man to go to the kitchen and cook food. You don't need to beg the man to lie down your bed. Enjoy your life. That is what God has made you. He brought you into this level. Into, the, into his level. Where you can operate and enjoy life. Enjoy all that life God has provided for you in this life. God has so much for you. Stop being afraid that you don't have physical cash now. Command the money to come. Call for the money. Call for the money. Yet your body is shaking. You will have health issues. Cast out that sickness. Declare, I am whole. In my father's house, I cannot be sick here. Command the devil. Give him no space. Give him no room. Because, like I said to you awful time here, one of the greatest weapons of the devil he uses against you is fear. The moment you allow fear to preoccupy you, to take over your mind, to take over your spirit, you're already under the devil's siege. And you must not give him that room, that chance, that opportunity. Don't even stop talking. Even when you are losing your strength, don't stop talking. Because that word that you are speaking is from your spirit. And because the deep call it unto the deep, as you are commanding those words, as you are speaking those words, as you are making commands, as you are making 
pronouncements concerning your life and your destiny. You know what happened? Things will begin to align. Things around you begin to align. 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 Until it produces the result. Until the miracle they are looking for is produced. Don't give up on God because God can never give up, give up on you. He has never. And I know it, I believe it, I walk in that spirit. He has never, God has never give, give, give it, given up on me and I cannot give up on God. I keep trusting Him. Keep trusting Him. He knows the remaining days of the, of the year ahead. He knows the remaining days. He knows how your, this year is going to end for you. He has planned it out. I said to you the other day, you're not a biological, a biological misfit. You're not a child of accident. God is aware. God thought of you before you came. He's aware of your existence. He's aware of... See, you are just... When you find God, and your heart, your mind stays on Him, you will just be living out a script that has been written before your birth. Because he told Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I have known you. And also in the same Jeremiah say, for the thought I have for you is not of evil, but of good to bring you to, wow, to an expected end. To an ex hey, to an expected end. To a, to a guaranteed end. Oh, Father, thank you. I just love this God too much. He has everything planned out for me. He has everything planned out for you. Trust him enough and don't allow the devil to give you any shaking ground. Walk out on him. You can walk out on the devil. Walk out on the devil. Walk out on him. He can't stop you. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. I just feel I should challenge you today and then encourage you to keep holding on. Keep holding on. Don't give up. Fear is an enemy. Fear is an enemy. You will surely overcome. I will overcome. It does not matter what is what the enemy is saying. I am an overcomer. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. <laughs> More than a I'm a victor. I'm not a victim. I'm a success. I'm not a failure. I'm a winner. I'm not a loser. I am the head. I am not the tail. I'm the champion that cannot be defeated. Keep making this confession all your life. And you see yourself. See your life moving in only one direction. Forward. Forward and upward. God bless you. I'll see you again.